Hey guys, happy new year. Um, I feel like we've all been so wrapped up in uh, Christmas, the holiday, and uh, new year that um, haven't really had time to stop and absorb the fact that we are now in winter. So I thought it was a good time for me to pop on here and share with you your three crucial spiritual tasks for winter. Um, so the first number one uh, most important thing for you to be doing for your spirit uh, this winter is to rest. Uh, winter is the season of rest. Um, it is all about turning inward. Um, you know, we know how all the animals hibernate in winter. It's just a super critical component of your spiritual growth. And it is so important that you, I really want to encourage you not to shortchange yourself on this task. It's super important. Um, this is where you are building the foundation for the whole rest of the year. So taking the time to rest and really prepare yourself and your spirit for all of the growth that will take place over the following year is critical. This is the time when you're setting the foundation for the entire year to come and the number one thing you can do for yourself to make that foundation strong is to simply rest. So indulge in rest as much as you possibly can. It is your number one task this season. So rest without guilt. Um, make sure that you just give yourself so many opportunities and don't feel guilty about that. Um, it is your most important task. So remind yourself of that when you feel like sleeping in or laying around and reading a book. Um, it's the best thing that you can be doing for yourself right now. Uh, the other, uh, your second important task for winter is to clear as much as possible, to clear out the stress, the anxiety, um, anything that um, makes you stressed. This is the time of year to clear all of that out so that you can really rest your mind and your spirit and the best way to um, clear out the anxiety and stress and worries from your life is to practice um, intense compassionate love for yourself if you are um, completely compassionate and loving towards yourself um, really that's where a lot of our anxieties and stresses stem from is feeling like we're not doing what we should be doing or second-guessing the decisions we've made or on and on and on all this stress that we have in our lives um, we create for ourselves so if you practice uh, really compassionate loving self-care that will help clear a lot of the um, extra anxiety and stress out of your life so that you can really be a clear vessel. Um, this is the season for receiving a lot of divine downloads. This is the season where we are uh, becoming inspired for all of the growth that will come in the year to follow. So in order to really clear your mind and clear space for you to receive those sparks of inspiration and those div divine downloads, um, you need to be a clear vessel and remove stress and anxiety and all those things that tie up our mental airwaves. We need to clear those out of our lives so we're clear enough to um, receive all of these sparks of inspiration that are coming to us this season. So um, your third task for winter is to dream. Create a lot of opportunities for yourself to dream because that is the place where you will be receiving a lot of these um, inspirations and divine downloads for the year to come. So <clears throat> you want to make sure that you're resting and sleeping as much as possible so that you provide yourself with a really rich environment to be dreaming up all your dreams for 2018. So um, <clears throat> I hope that's helpful. 
Um, I will be back here every Tuesday. I'm going to be on here to talk about the themes of the season and the work that you can be doing, um, the personal growth work that you can be doing that really coincides with winter. So um, look for me next Tuesday. We'll chat some more. And um, Happy New Year, friends. Take care of yourselves and rest. Go take a nap. Um, okay, bye.